take a look at this fridge here. It's just like the one we have in our kitchen, but this one's had a few pieces taken away so we can get a better look at how it works. Can you see all the way around the fridge door, there's this piece of rubber. It's called the seal. And inside the seal, there's a magnet. And the magnet helps to keep the fridge door shut. And the seal keeps the cold air inside the fridge sealed in and the warm air outside the fridge sealed out. But I really like the noise it makes. Listen to this. It's like a suction noise, isn't it? You mustn't try to get to the back of your fridge at home. So I'm going to show you what it looks like and how it works. A fridge needs power to work, so it's plugged into an electric socket. And the electricity is needed to power this machine here. It's called a compressor. The compressor is a type of pump which moves gas around the fridge to keep it cool. So this is where a gas enters the compressor and that is where it leaves it. The pipe that comes out of the compressor snakes back and forward all the way to the top of the fridge and all the way back down again. That's a lot of pipes, but eventually the pipe goes inside the fridge. This fridge has had its plastic lining removed inside, so we can see where the pipe goes next. It snakes around the top part of the fridge and then back down again to the compressor. In total, the pipe is 35 metres long. That's nearly as long as eight family cars. But how does that pipe work to keep the fridge nice and cold? To find out, I think we need to take a closer look. At the back of the fridge, inside the pipe, is a special liquid called refrigerant. This travels through a part called the expansion valve, where it's pushed through really quickly, turning it from a liquid into a vapour. As the vapour flows through the pipe inside the fridge, it absorbs and removes heat from the food inside, and this turns the vapour into a gas. It's called evaporation. It keeps the fridge and the food inside cold too. Then the gas travels to the compressor. The compressor pushes the hot gas out through a pipe, which squeezes the gas molecules together. And as the molecules move closer together, the gas cools and turns back into a liquid. This is called condensing. The liquid refrigerant moves through the pipe at the back of the fridge, ready to start the whole process again. Wasn't that interesting? I'm going to show you how cold it gets inside the fridge using my special camera. This is a thermal imaging camera and it shows me how hot or cold things are by showing different colours. So these grapes, let's see what colour they are on the camera. Oh look! The grapes look yellow and a little bit orange. That's because they're quite warm out here on the kitchen table. The milk has been in the fridge, so what colour do you think it's going to be? <gasps> Look at that! The grapes are yellow, but the milk is dark blue. And that's because it is much, much colder. So what do you think will happen if I put the grapes in the fridge? What colour will they be then? Whoa, inside the fridge it looks dark, solid blue. What colour do you think the grapes will turn if I leave them in the fridge for a few minutes? Shall we find out? Now, you mustn't do this with your camera at home, but I've got special permission to put the thermal camera inside the fridge so I can show you the grapes cooling down. To make the grapes colder, the compressor is pumping the special refrigerant liquid around those condenser pipes at the back of the fridge. Inside the pipes in the fridge, the refrigerant is turning into a gas as it absorbs the heat and takes away the warmth from the grapes. And then that gas goes back down to the compressor where it's turned back into a liquid again. And it keeps going round and round and round. Right, the grapes have been in there for a few minutes. Shall we see what they look like on the thermal camera? The grapes have been inside the fridge for a few minutes, so they've cooled down, and now they look blue. How clever is that?